In this lesson, I will show you how to apply a force on particles based on the group. So first we'll create the text by going to the shelf and I will click on the font and hit enter on the keyboard. And now let's dive inside the container and I will change that to Houdini. Okay, and let's move it up by selecting that. You can set a transfer mode or in the origins here, I can set that to one. Okay, and now let's add an extrude, poly extrude. And let's increase the distance, something like that. And then I will scroll down and I will click on output back to output the back surface. Okay. And now we want to scatter particles inside the text. So we can do that by hitting tab and typing ISO offset. So this will create a volume for us. So if I click on that, as you see now, barely we see the volume in the text, right? The reason is because we don't have a samples. So if I increase that, for example, to 30, now we will have more samples for the volume. Okay, so I will try to increase that to 60. As you see now, we, we are seeing the text better than before. Let's set it 80. Okay, and now we want to scatter points in the volume. So I will hit tab and type scatter. For those who don't know why I created the ISO offset, so maybe you are wondering why you're creating the ISO offset, just create the scatter node, okay? You can do that, but the problem is that the if you, if you don't use the ISO offset node, now the particles will scatter themselves on the surface, okay? We want the particles be inside the surface too, not just outside the surface. That's why we creating the ISO offset. Now the scatter node will scatter itself inside the text because we are using the volume node. Okay. And now let's go back to the object level. And now if I select the font object, and then I will click on source particle emitter. Okay. So now the particle will be emitted from the points. Let's see why this is not working. Okay, we need to do another step by going to Autodoc Network. And in the pop source, I will click in the emission type, I will change that to all points. Okay, so now the particles emitting from the points. Okay, don't forget to do that. This is very important. And I will go outside. And if you want to add more details to the the text you need to go to the font object and increase the ISO sampling okay so this will help us to give more detail to the text as you see okay and of course this will be slower the more you increase that the slower the calculation will be okay so let's go back to the object even and now the problem is if I hit play as you see the particle continues falling down continuous emitting particles. So we need the particles emitted just for first frame. So there is a little trick here. If I go inside the Autodop network and select the pop source and in the birth, I can change the impulse activation to zero. If I set that to zero, no particle will be emitted. Okay. So we need to set one just for first frame. You can animate that by setting a key at the first frame and in the next frame set that to zero. But there is a little faster way. So I can set an expression dollar capital F equal equal one. So let's hit enter and see. As you see now the particles just emitted at the first frame. Okay. So what this expression means tells Houdini emit the particle just at first frame. And if we are in the next frame, set it to zero. So now if I go just one frame, now you see it's a zero, okay? So it's fast way to set a key.
So let's go back and disable the gravity or let's delete the gravity node. I don't need that. I will delete the merge to this merge to we don't need them. Okay, so now let's create a pop force by hitting tab and type pop force. Okay, so I will increase the amplitude. This is for noise, set it to one. Okay, I think we need to decrease that just to 0 0.1, it's okay. And I want the particles going in this direction. So I will set it uh, the Z to 1 and let's see. Okay, so now the particles going in this direction. And I think still the amplitude is too strong. 0, 2. Okay. So now we need to create a group, a box, and the and when the particles entering the box, the pop force will start affecting the particles. So we can type uh, hit tab and type group. This is the pop group. This is different than the group you saw in the previous lectures. Okay. So I will select the pop group and I will go to the bounding box and I will click on enable. And now, as you see, I have a bounding box in the viewport. And let's select that. I don't know why the manipulator is not showing. It should show in the viewport. Okay. It, let's move it manually from here. Okay. So I will set the X to a five. Five is too strong. Okay. One. Let's set it to two. Quit. Okay, something like that. And I will move it up and I will scale it like that. And I will scale. Scale it on X. Something like that. Okay. And let's move it. By the way, I am holding the middle mouse click for those who don't know. Okay, something like that. And now I will key the center. This is the position controlling the position. Okay, at the first frame, I will hit Alt on the keyboard, holding Alt and left mouse click to create a key. And now we will go to 100 frame. Okay, and now I will move the center somewhere in here okay and hit alt and left mouse click to set a key and now as you see the box is moving but we still don't have the effect we want so we need to rename the group group name let's call that for example animated okay and in the pop force it's good idea to set the pop force after the pop group so I will shake that and place it after the pop group. Now in the pop force, I will change. I will click on the group to enable that. And now I will click on this button and I will select animated. Okay, this is the group that we created. And now if I go back and play, as you see, still the group is not working. Okay, I found what's the problem. I am very sorry. You should select the pop source. And here you you need to change the inherit velocity to zero and set everything to zero. Okay, so the reason is because even if you disabled that, these attributes will give velocity to the particles. As you see, even I am disabling everything, but we still have noise on it. This comes from the variance, okay, in the attributes. Sometimes Houdini makes things really complicated. So why you put that by to one by default, okay? So now I will enable that. And now if I move that, you see, again, we don't, we have the problem because we need to select the force. And let's see, I changed that. So I was trying to figure what's the problem with that. Okay, so now, okay. So now, as you see, we have the force. We need to increase the amplitude a little bit too. Okay, so as you see now we are affecting the particles by the by the group. Okay, 
I am really sorry to I made that mistake. Okay. So that's it for this lesson. See you in the next lesson.